The orbit is critical. He needs to go up, away, and wind. You see that? That's where he needs to be. When he's here, that changes all the angles. Now the delivery side doesn't work. Chain reaction. Nice and easy again. The throwing chain reaction system. We are officially in Columbus. We're officially feeling traveling the fact that we were at a camp less than 24 hours ago in across the country. We got the uh, all-star cast, James Plummer, Sam Elsner, Kelsey Benoit. Uh, unfortunately, we had Dave Gonzalez. We had a flight cancellation and he got screwed up. So he was a key uh, coaching member that's not gonna be able to make it to the camp. Um, but Coach Josh Stegman is one of our online members and uh, does a great job. So let's check it. So day one here in Ohio, I want, I really feel like Ohio is their best camp hands down so far. People came in from West Virginia, Maryland, Indiana, Michigan, all around Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, uh, just a friggin' really great day. Idaho, Ethan Pertula, one of my stud online members. Just a really, really good day. Um, we had a biggest group by far super engaged kids they did an awesome job i was really stoked a one all right two and then when i go three set your stretch correctly your arms should your thumbs should be flat down, hand down, so you feel the stretch on the band, and you see it stretch back here. You don't want the band across your back. See how I'm straddled over this line? Look where my left is, look where my right is. I'm gonna pre-turn my right, put it on the line, put my left on this side. You see that? Now I'm lined up this way. I thought it was great because it went back to the basics and taught you how to just start up your throw. Nice to implement. I mean, it's nice, it seems like an easy way, and you can work on things when you're not actually throwing. We're going to do some private sessions right now. We have a small group, uh, some people that ask, so we're going to get that in, get that training in, kind of reinforce some things that we covered from today. So day two here in Columbus, it's about 6.30 a.m. We're gonna be getting set up. We're actually running a little bit behind, about 15, 20 minutes. Had to check out of our Airbnb, then we'll have some uh, full day, uh, a short private group at the end of the camp. It's gonna be a busy day. At any rate, so check it out. We'll be uh, kind of updating throughout the day. You're gonna feel this. Stretch your shoulder. Feel how I'm kind of rotating it? And then I'm gonna, when I come here, because that's gonna help me take the band up into this pitch to hit my power position, which we're covering. We're gonna wind the left side. Okay, so feel yourself winding the side, not the shot, right? So this is one of the key differences. The deal is bigger shot, you can get more fingers behind the ball and you can keep your fingers more like this. And so that flick is worth two to three feet on your shot. So if you guys are having that shot come off the palm, that's gonna be a problem, okay? So you're gonna lose distance. The idea is, I always tell people, get the center of the shot kind of on the knuckles. And again, a lot of you guys do this stuff. 
So that means when you start to throw, you're throwing off of usually one to two fingers because you'll lose these other two fingers. That's also not gonna potentially, it's gonna feel really bad on your hand. You can hurt your hand. This is restricted. This is meant to pre-block, flex the front block leg. Feel it straight so it can't move, right? It's just teaching you this action. And that's where a lot of you guys are getting here and you're loosening your leg and then you're going into it. You got to pre-block, so I just feel that. It's very helpful. I'm learning a lot, like newer things. Especially, I like the visuals too because when we yeah. were working on those, I said, okay, look at pillar three, look at how his body is supposed to be. And he's like, okay. It's a great way to pull out, spread out a, small, a very short amount of time to make yourself better in all of the small little parts of a throw. It's been an honor to be part of it ever since it was before the, how popular it is now. And it's helped my coaching, my throwing, and it's I love how it's really spreading to around the country now and even towards the world now. It's really making things very simple for a complex sport. So the camps were great. We got to help out kids, which is great. We got to help coaches. We got to help the sport, which is awesome. Like I did seven, waking up at 4 a.m. wasn't wasn't fun for most of those. Great experience. Just happy to help out the sport. It really is. First time being in Columbus, Ohio, one of the largest camps Heritage has ever had. I mean, we had a ton of kids. Overall, I think it went pretty great. A lot of kids who came in that may not have known quite as much about the sport, they were able to learn a lot more. We were able to get them a lot better. Um, a lot of coaches and dads and moms who fill in the, the title of coach to their kids, you know, they were able to come and get some insight and figure out what they can do with their kids to make them a little bit better. You know, we're excited to see how these kids throw next season. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks to the crew. It's been a ton of fun. Hope you're enjoying it. See you later.